Hey guys, I'm here with you again and today we are going to look at soils. Before you go any further, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. What is soil? Have you ever taken a good look at a handful of soil? Well, soil is a mixture of inorganic organic material, water and air found on the surface of the earth. Soil is basically the top layer of the earth where plants grow and animals live. Soil is formed by small particles from weathering rocks. Now, what are some of the things that you can find in soil? I am sure if you go outside right now and take up a handful of soil, you will see small sticks insects, decayed leaves, and other materials in the soil. They all make up soil. There are different layers to soil. There is a topsoil, subsoil, and bedrock. The topsoil is where plants are rooted and where animals make their habitat. The topsoil in various environments may differ, as the topsoil may have different characteristics. Different types of soils looks and feel different, as there are different rock sizes and different amount of humus in each type of soil. Humus is basically the organic component of a soil, which is formed by the decomposition of leaves and other plant materials. Now I mentioned that soils in different environments may vary. Now, but what are the different types of soil? Well, let us start with clay. What does clay look like? Clay soil has fine particles that are packed very close together. This means that there is little or no space between the particles which allows the soil to hold water for very long periods of time. Clay soils can be found near rivers or streams or at the bottom of the riverbed. Sandy soils. Sandy soils are normally found on coastlines or desert environments. We all know what desert environments are. Sandy soil is very light in color and the particles of space between them that allows air to pass through and allows water to run through quickly. Water flows through sandy soil quicker than any other soil, making sandy soil permeable. A soil is permeable when it allows water to flow through quickly and easily. Let us look at loam soil. Loam soil has the right amount of clay, sand, and silt, which makes it very good for plant growth. This is why it is nicknamed garden soil. Loam soil generally contains more nutrients and more humus than all other soil types. So we looked at the three soil types. We looked at sand, loam and clay. We realized that clay holds a lot of water and it holds it for long periods while sand drains water very quickly making it permeable. Loam is a mixture of both, making it suitable to grow plants. Take a trip outside, take up a handful of soil, and comment all the things that you see in the soil. Comment what type of soil it is. If you learned something about soil today, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and click the bell notification to be updated when we post our next video.